This time, we're going to deliver our preference in teaching approach, teaching methods, and teaching techniques. And this PowerPoint is worked by me, Afaris Perdosha, Indah Yulia Tigasela, and Masya Nakewa. And the approach in teach the most the most importantly, the child assisting knowledge and experience from from the best for learning. The child the child immediate environment environment for uh, progress the context for learning language language is center in the learning process the social uh, social emotional is important for 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 every child to dimension and important for learning and and the and and the and the facility intermediate for for the for the subject every every child learning and experience for, for the subject uh, and uh, and and one most uh, importantly ex experience and uh, subject experience subject 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 experience and dulu apa ya ampun pas itu dulu Alhamdulillah and the collaboration student important experience subject for every child to be learning and and have and have to good and have to good every mental for child and and the and the taking into account in the process assessment integral part of part of teaching and learning by by, by the by the teacher or when 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 teach when when teach your student for the for, for the biggest experience and many and many new subject and many new subject for in many new subject in the in many in many subject for the children okay. today I, I want to tell about the teaching approaching the, uh, the primary uh, school curriculum designed to nurture the to nurture the child in in all dimension of his of his life uh, uh, spiritual moral and connective and the important emotional for for the child uh, ready uh, to be to to be learning uh, uh, from many subject and the curriculum vision of education is present the from of the general general uh, general aim and the important one to to enable to the child to life as a child and to realize his of her potential as unique is unique and to to, uh, to prepare the child uh, for for future education and lifelong learning learning uh, learning for the child takes uh, takes place in many ways in the curriculum uh, accords equal and the in, the important uh, for the for the mental child and and starting point for the knowledge in view in view being uh, of common uh, important uh, the facilities of the school learning technique we chose inquiry based learning so what is inquiry based learning it is basically an activity where the teacher and where the teacher guides the students to bring out their analyzing and critical thinking skills through the given questions. The students have to investigate the question based on the valid data, using evidence-based reason, using evidence-based reasoning, while thinking out of the box to acquire the question. So, in this learning technique, there must be disadvantages and advantages. So, let's talk about the advantages first. So, the first thing is reinforces curriculum content. Since our latest national curriculum is about upgrading students' critical thinking skill, 
this strategy of learning or this technique of learning would really help our nation to reach national education goals. The second is, warms up the brain for learning. This activity will wield the students' curiosity to solve a problem, so when they already used to it, it will be much easier for them to build that kind of, that kind of systemic problem-solving once again. So, the third is, promotes a deeper understanding of the content. This activity is supposed to make the students understand the basic terms of the content. As they proceed to find the most accurate answer, they will build or they will create an understanding through their own style of thinking and it would make them retain the information well. And then the disadvantages are, the first is reluctance to participate in. This activity requires total participation from the students. So when the students are asked to deliver their thoughts, deliver their, their analyzing, analyzing toward a problem, it would indirectly need good speaking skills. So it would be unfair for students who has lacks of speaking skills. The second is teacher mindset and preparedness. Before inviting the students to join this activity, the teacher have the teacher has to have deep comprehension and high critical thinking skills so she or he could lead the students properly. When the teacher is not even ready for the content or this learning technique, it will create such a disconnect and lead the students to be more unprepared. So, students' readiness. Students involved in this learning method must be capable of questioning every single content term and have the idea about it about what's going on. In the other words, the ideal participants ha do have to know what to do, doing things independently without being impacted by others. As we know, not every student has this initiative, so using this learning as a method in force in an even population may lead into more intellectual gains. Intellectual gains. Let's start. Teaching method, a flash card. A teacher writes a word in a card or paper, which is then given to students, and then students develop into a sentence or statement with the aim of developing students' mindset based on their experience. And objective, make a connection between text, knowledge, and personal experience. And the last example, pick school teacher, guest kitchen call, and milk wedding harvest. And that's all from our group. Thank you for this opportunity and we apologize for every single of our flaws. Good evening.